All right, welcome back. Now let's talk about the Conference Bridge module. The Conference Bridge module is a very powerful conferencing service that you have in the Vox IP system. You can set very professional, very controlled, secured conferences on your system and host multiple conferences at the same time. So let's go ahead and look at the Conference Bridge configuration and by default the conference bridge requires a license to enable it but once again once you enable that license purchase it it'll actually the product will be there uh, conference bridge services will be there for the lifetime of the product so you go to applications conferences and you can see we already have one here let's let's go ahead and add a brand new one so just like any destination you need to add a extension to it. So I'm going to go ahead and just pick and let's just show you what happens. If I pick the same, there's already an extension in use, we get an, an alert, but let's go ahead and say 1918. Okay, that's enable, that's available. Let's go ahead and say this is for our service group. And one of the good things about the conferencing capabilities here is we really can control access to who can get into the conference. We can do that at a user level, and we can also do that at an administrative level. So let's go ahead and make it a user level pin, and this is what you would actually email out and let people know, hey, this is the pin for this um, you know, conference. So let's go ahead and say one, two, three, four. And then we also have the ability for an admin pin. And the reason why you'd like to set an admin pin, if you want the conference to um, not begin until the admin be you know arrives to the conference and you'll have you'll see some other uh, capabilities here so let's it's nine times out of ten you're probably going to want to put an admin pin to control the conference so let's go ahead and do that now so we'll say two 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 we're going to leave the language inherent it's probably going to be English we can actually have a join message we can actually create one of our own uh, join message if we leave it as none it'll actually just have the default uh, new user. Uh, a joined mess uh, join conference so you can actually create by going to your admin system recordings and you can actually create your own customized join message as well so here we get into some of the configuration options so like once again to use that admin pin we would want to say yes wait till the leader um, joins the conference before we start the conference if the leader leaves stop the conference we can also control the talker who uh, who is actually the person who's allowed to talk and when you say yes that grants the admin the capability of controlling anybody from talking uh, like for example also you have some quiet mode uh, the talker detection you can actually have a notification to that user if, if they're let's say they forget to mute their phone the system will actually reach out there and tell them hey you know mute, please mute your phone you're talking interrupting the conference we can also do a user count so you're number five in the conference if the user joins or leaves we can get notification from that we can play music on hold we can also if we choose music on hold we can even choose our own music class and we'll see that later in some other videos you can actually have you know your own specific advertisements and things like that uh, one of the other benefits is we can record this conference say like you wanted to replay this to your employees or maybe even uh, put it as a public uh, you know, recording that anybody can listen to maybe off your website. You can limit the number of participants and you can also mute them to join. The Add to iSymphony for right now, don't worry about that. That's in a very advanced uh, configuration for your ACDs and things like that. So, but this is the basic how you set up your, your conference. Once you hit submit, that conference now will be an available um, destination. So literally anybody inside your uh, system who has four digit capabilities let's say it was trunk to trunk from another site let's say Cleveland was calling into Dallas as long as they can reach that extension 1918 they can get into that conference when the leader is joined also you can set up if you wanted to an inbound route put a DID and translate it to this 1918 so you could have external participation or last but not least you could actually have just your normal inbound routes on your main lines receptionist answers it and then she could transfer people in to the conference as well so setting up a conference bridge is really simple but the great thing and the most powerful thing about this is this is a full-blown conference bridge server it has all the features of bells and whistles that people pay for for services on a monthly service you really can decrease your expenditures on your voice communication with your employees your customers etc so that's how we do call conferencing
The next thing we're going to show is we're going to work on call recording and show you how to record calls and also how to retrieve those calls and play them. Uh, once again, thanks for watching the video. We'll talk to you in the next one.